hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here thank you for coming um so today we're going to be talking about a diaper rash and how to handle a diaper rash on a toddler this um, diaper rashes can be very traumatizing for both the parent and the child especially for the child so i'm going to be sharing with you things that have that have tried and have actually worked for me and uh, these are actually things that you can find from your house a lot of natural products I'm, I'm i'm really into natural products so join me on the rest of the video to see exactly you know what these things are that i used so my first tip or rather point will be have a diaper free time guys this might seem like a foreign concept especially to new first time moms yeah so you might just have a challenge in your mind because a lot of these things are really mental so you might find that having your baby without a diaper is a not an option for you but it's really really important in you know the progress of your child helping your child heal very very fast so ensure ensure you have a diaper free time if you feel like you can manage a whole day without the diaper even better for your child you'll find that your diaper your baby is uh, healing really really well and fast because that area is not supposed to be moist and the and, and when it stays moist the longer it stays moist the longer it takes for this child to heal so let this let your child stay without a diaper just ensure you have a bucket and a mop to keep on cleaning after your child and ensure you buy a lot of underwears buy a lot of underwears so that your child can keep on changing because you'll keep on changing that underwear after every minute every minute literally every single minute i remember the first time i tried this within a morning we had finished about um 12 underwears they needed to get out and go and just look for more you know so yeah go ahead and just let your child stay without a diaper and let them enjoy the freedom that you do you know the yeah. second um point is use aloe vera it's a natural gel which you can find around your compound or you know just basically anywhere if you if you actually don't have it around your compound you can buy it but um, this gel is amazing it heals wounds yeah it has anti-inflammatory components called bisisterol and has infection fighting properties so due to that it accelerates the healing time of a wound so i would really recommend it so i would use it in the morning and in the evening and due to that i saw amazing 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 like effects on my daughter's diaper rash it really really helped her a lot so my third tip is, would be to ensure that you're moisturizing that area each time yeah you need to create like a barrier so use sealants like vaseline um the other thing that you can use is zinc and castor which is amazing 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 um i actually saw a difference when i changed from when i switched from vaseline and moved to the zinc and castor and uh, within two days the improvement was like amazing vaseline is actually really really good if you don't have zinc and castor go ahead and use vaseline and uh, you'll see amazing amazing changes so my fourth tip is the use of baking soda make a baking soda solution uh, baking soda is amazing it reduces the ph balance um, so because of that it ensures that there's no bacteria yeah it prevents any form of bacteria coming to that affected area i use this every single time i made that solution and i use it every single time that i was wiping um you know my child on that affected area and it really helped us um she didn't get any kind of infection and for me that was just amazing because guys with a diaper she really don't want to experience an infection because once a child has an infection it means now they have to take antibiotics and i mean guys those are not the things we want our children consuming at such a young age so for me i was really really pleased with the, especially this last um point um this last remedy it worked wonders for us so one thing that you need to do once you apply it just dab it on that affected area 
uh, when you're cleaning your child and let it dry yeah let it air dry um, once it's dry um, get your moisturizer seal that area and yeah voila your baby is ready to continue moving around freely without a diaper guys without a diaper yeah so let them just wear an underwear and walk freely and yeah you'll see um, that your child is improving so i really love these things they worked for me all those four things are things that i was actually using every single time um, my daughter has gotten a diaper rash i think two times yeah two times and i really thank god for that because i know that people who experience it a lot of times and uh, for us it's something that probably would come because of a reaction to a diaper and yeah actually that was the cause two times yeah she was reacting to a specific brand of diaper then after that i just stopped using that diaper so guys i hope you really enjoyed this video it was useful the knowledge uh, the information that i've shared with you here is something that you guys will actually use and share with anyone especially first time moms out there um i hope that um, it will this information will help you yeah so if you try out this um, any of these methods and they don't work out for you probably after three days and you see that your child is not improving take them to the hospital immediately because your child is not improving and they need medical attention yeah so thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please um, like share and subscribe guys subscribe subscribe to my channel um yeah See you in the next one. Bye.